Yo boys, today I'm in Pet Catchers, and this game actually updated today. I already have all the areas unlocked in case you guys are wondering. So today I'll be showing you guys all the secrets in case you guys don't know them. We do have this guy right over here, the alien, and he just crash landed here, and there's a quest that you gotta complete. If you complete 30 of his quests, you get this pet right here, and no one has that pet yet because everyone gets stuck on quest 9. Anyway, there's a secret in this last area in case you guys did not know, then I'll get into all the other secrets in other areas because just in case you guys don't have all the areas unlocked yet i got you guys so over here there's this thing that says not a secret good deal Shh, right you're gonna go down over here and then you click on this button once you click on that button that will unlock all the other stairs like these right over here it will unlock this obby that you just gotta complete real quick not that hard at all but once you complete this obby it will take you to a secret merchant that sells a lot of very op items but that's not the secret the secret is actually even more parkour so here it is right over here the black market and over here you'll be able to buy a lot of very op things now what i'm gonna show you guys is something over here so you're gonna take out your hoverboard or whatever or you could just jump but it's easier with the hoverboard you're just gonna spam jump over here and try to get on top of this crystal it may take a lot of tries but pretty much you just gotta get on top of this crystal over here you can spam your hoverboard and jump as well just to get on top of that crystal crystal you can even go on first person i find that helps out a lot so you can go like this go like up here there we go we just got up okay now once you're on top of that you're gonna go on top of this then you get your hoverboard out you're gonna go up over here there we go and then now you gotta keep going up so probably just go like on top of this tree right over here there we go and then go on top of this volcano and watch this guys um oh no i just spoiled it um, this was not supposed to happen, guys. I just broke the game. Yeah, this was not supposed to happen. I just fell off the map. Are you kidding me? Okay, that... Don't worry about what just happened, guys. That is not supposed to happen. Uh, this is just a bug in the game. And it looks like I might have to rejoin or reset. Okay, so as I was saying, you would just go up on top of this right here on top of the market. And then go on top of here. And then go on top of this tree just like this. Or you don't actually have to. Just climb this uh, wall right over here with your uh, hoverboard. And then you're going to see this ladder right by the volcano. So you're going to go down the ladder and boom! You got a secret chest right here. And uh, from what I hear, I don't think anyone knows about this secret. Only some people know. Someone actually told me on Discord. So big shout out to maybe Vlad right here for helping me. So let's go open up this chest right here. Click fast. Bam, 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 bam. Come on, come on, come on. Open up. Wait, what, bro? Let me open it. It's not opening anymore. Uh, what just happened, bro? What just happened? Why is it not opening? Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Okay, I think it glitched there. But as you guys see, it gives you a lot of very OP stuff, which is very good. And I'm not sure if this respawns every time, but you guys could check for yourself and go check our inventory now. I got a lot of really OP things. So just in case you guys didn't know that, it's right there in inside the volcano. Also, ever since I unlocked this area, I haven't even caught a pet yet. So, might as well, let's go catch a pet real quick right here. 100% chance. Success. Oh, yeah. And I gave me almost a million coins. Not too bad. Oh, yeah. By the way, on some of the quests I am behind, like, I gotta complete the old sailor quest. So, yeah. I I'm a little behind on some stuff. But anyway, let's get back into the secret. So, I'll just start from the start, I guess. We're gonna go all the way over here. All the way to the start area, which is a pet park. So starting off right over here, there's a red button and pretty much over here it does this as you guys see. A ladder spawns in and then let's just go over to a ladder. I never even did this so let's just go there real quick. Here we go right over here. And then there's another chest right here. Just like how there's a chest in that volcano area that gives a lot of really OP stuff. This is going to give you a little lower end stuff because obviously we're in the first world. So as you go in and find the uh, better secret areas in each world, the rewards grab really get better so that was like pretty much the worst you could get moving on over here to the second area we do have some shrines that are like pretty much in every area and also a chest that you could go claim right over here and then right over here you could use a shrine you could pretty much claim this every timer so it for these timers it's every nine minutes you could click on these shrines so it's pretty much just kind of like pet sim where there's like vending machines but in this case it's shrines where you got to keep collecting everything and it gives you a lot of free stuff so mine as well 
Also, I just unlocked this secret area right over here, and that's why I'm com pretty much completing the blacksmith quest line. So, like, I'm trying to complete it right now. This place was locked for me, but now it's unlocked because I just did some of his quests. And, yeah, I kind of skipped a lot of stuff, which is why I'm, like, super OP and then don't even have all the simple stuff completed. So, as you guys see, like, this boss is really easy for me to defeat. Like, I do a ton of damage on him right now, and he does barely anything to me and does barely any damage to me because I have so much health and yeah he's invincible right now okay buddy okay buddy stop it stop it you little you little dumb slime come on let me beat you real quick I just need your stuff okay there we go he's done all right W but yeah in case you guys didn't know that like me and you like skip a lot of stuff there you guys go and moving on to this like cold area here uh the snow area there was a red button just like the first area I showed you I already did this before when I was playing but pretty much what it does is is opens up this ladder right here and on top of this ladder look I didn't even claim it there's a chest right over here and you could go claim it there we go give some pretty cool stuff too I just got a legendary cube and a respawn thing that's pretty good dude so yeah make sure to claim all that stuff because I haven't been claiming it and that's actually a lot of useful things and right over here, we got another free shrine right here that you could get. And here's another one right there. These are, however, every hour. But they give a lot better loot. And here's that old sailor guy that I haven't done any quests for. And uh, this is actually very important because this is where you can actually get better fishing rods and stuff. So I need to do his quest, as you guys see over here. So might as well, let's go get some of his quests and complete them. Like right now, it's just catch five fish. I believe for me, I do have an auto. Yeah, I can auto fish because I did buy that game pass which is really op and fishing doesn't take that long as you guys see so completing his quests are really easy and also he gives gems which is very good and then one of the best shrines right over here is this shrine right here which gives you golden tickets i got two golden tickets you can use that right over here i already had max tickets so that wasn't smart of me to claim that but anyway you can use golden tickets to do this mini game and you can get a lot of pretty op stuff so pretty good here too so instead of you like literally buying it for robux just go over here every hour make sure you remember to claim this because i just got free two golden tickets so it's kind of like every hour you get 150 robux worth of golden tickets Oh, and by the way, you could also use the golden tickets over here as well, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, another thing is in this area over here, you could actually, let me just like do this obby thing real quick, okay? So right over here, there's some more shrines, and these already claimed, uh, like that one is very OP. I have to claim that in 10 hours. And then the one right beside that is 30 minutes, so these are really OP shrines too. And also there's a button over here. That button pretty much just unlocks this door, and then there's a secret door you have to unlock by getting a key and in order to get that key you have to complete all the riddles which i'm sure all you guys have probably done that because i'm kind of late on that but anyway yeah you go you complete all the riddles once you complete all the riddles is a key that spawns pretty much all the way up there and then that key is what you use to open up that door which unlocks pretty much the last area and as for secret pets, because I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering about secret pets. If you go over to the pet index, just press Q. There are all these pets right over here that you can see. And there's pretty much a ton of secret pets. And it shows you exactly how to get those secret pets. Like this one's found in Frosty Peaks. This one's found in all these areas, etc. And there's some pets that are not even on the pet index. So it's like on secret on top of secret. You know what I mean? So yeah, those pets you won't be able to see here. But they are in game and they are just very secret to find so yeah good luck on getting those and right over here, if you go to the teleport, you can see all the different secret pets you can get in each area as well. And pretty much in this area, there's a very, very secret pet. And that's one of those robot pets. And some of the other secret pets from there, or I guess you could say very rare pets from there, is from this plasma egg, the plasmatic egg. And then that egg is actually very, very rare to get from some mini games. And also it's very expensive because if I want to buy this, bundle it costs 3500 robux which is absolutely insane but just claim that and then i can show you guys that egg right now so if i go to my inventory right over here we can see one of these eggs and as you guys see it's a guaranteed
20 legendary pet, it's a 5% chance to hatch a secret pet. So what you could do is use this, get ultra lucky, which costs 200 Robux. I believe there's other lucky things you could buy as well, other luck boosts that you could buy. Uh, lucky cubes. Oh no, that's just capturing pets. That's not that much worth it. Oh, lucky eggs right over here. This is 750 Robux. So this increases your chances of getting secret pets. It's a lot of Robux, but honestly, it's probably worth it if you guys are going to be opening these very expensive eggs. And also, as you guys saw from that bundle, I did get one of these, and it says it's a secret dev item, and it's very, very OP. So we can use one of those potions, and it gives you, like, a ton of boosts on literally everything. You get, like, a boost of ultra lucky, super lucky, normal lucky, and more gems, multiplier, everything. It just gives you a tons of boosts. So now we can go over here with all those boosts that we just got. Let's open up one of these eggs right over here, guys. And hopefully I can get a secret pet. The best pet you can get from this is, I believe, a robot pet. So let's check it out, boys. Come on, give me a secret pet. Secret pet. And, oh, I got a legendary. Are you kidding me, dude? Nah, dude, that was, like, one of the worst ones. That was the worst one. With all my luck, dude, no way I got, like, the worst one. I got the worst one again. Oh, my gosh, bro. I'm getting literally the worst pets ever. Let's try one more time, boys. And secret, secret. Oh, my gosh. That is horrible luck. Luckily, I know someone that has a very OP pet, and it's also shiny. So, like, legendary pets, or maybe if I have a secret pet, or if I hatch a secret pet, I could just go here, go over to these things I have here, which is golden cherries, and you have 3.5% chance to convert your normal pet into a shiny. So, golden cherries are very OP. So, whenever, if I ever get a secret pet, I'm 100% using those golden cherries to make that pet into a shiny. So, here he is right over here. Let me real quick turn off my ugly looking pets <laughs> like literally my pets are ruining his pets right here but there it is the neon robot he actually has a 48th one and it's a shiny so we could go trade him right here the kind of annoying part is you can only trade people on public servers so i had to like join him since i was like in also a public server but like another public server if i do a private server i can't join him anyway who cares what i'm talking about let's go look at his pet you know what maybe, maybe i could flex some of my legendary pets look at my legendary pets i got bro yeah Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, wait. What? What? Yo, he just had a trade. Let me see it. Wait, actually, if he has his inventories on. Oh, there it is right there. It says he has it on trade, but I think it's broken, bro. Oh, there it is. Yep, there it is right there. So the stats on this pet is absolutely insane. He also has a max level 12,000 attack. 3,900 coin multiplier. Shiny, as you guys see. He also has really good enchants on it. He got Fatal Strike 4, and, and then he got Deadly 4 and a Looting 4. So this thing's, like, perfect. Literally perfect. Now, I don't know that much about trading in this game yet, but let me know. What would you guys offer for this pet? Because that is actually insane. He also has a Russo pet, bro. Oh, my goodness. He has a lot of very OP pets, bro. This is absolutely insane. Really, really OP pets. Um, yeah, dude. So, that's that looks like to be his best pet. My best pet are in the hundreds, bro. I'm lacking, dude. I'm literally lacking. I gotta get to this guy's level on pets. So he did say I could use it for a second because I'm going to use it 100%. I want to see how OP this pet is because with all that coin multiplier and all that damage, bro, it's going to be insane. All right, so there we go. Trade completed. Let's check out the inventory. Let's go auto uh, equip best. Take a look at that, boys. Okay, I got seven pets equipped and one of them is this neon robot, bro. Okay, now let's go take my pets over here. Not my pets, but the pets over to the last area or semi last area this area here and see how much coins i could get so here we go right over here got all the pets here and then i'm just gonna go to these crabs and see how much i get yo 100 mil 200 million oh my goodness dude the amount of coins i'm getting is absolutely insane and the pet literally instant kills them that is insane I mean, if I'm gonna be honest, it's not the best place to even grind coins or, like, these mobs, at least. I believe the best place is probably the slime area, especially since I already gotta, like, defeat some slimes for some quests. So, might as well go over to the slime area and beat them. Here they are right over here. Come on, give me some of them coins. Dude, even these ones give so much coins. The stats are insane. Dude, I could go to a king slime right over here. Supercharge, sure. Okay, yeah, why, why not? Let's 
Let's do supercharged. All right, boys. Let's see that health, dude. Oh, my goodness. Let's see how much I get, bro. Come on. Come on. Destroy him, bro. One hit. Yo, dude. That did 6,500 damage. Now he's just going to be invincible. That is so annoying. Oh, man. Oh, man. Just hurry up and let me kill you, bro. Hurry it up. Let me kill you real quick. Come on, the pets. Oh, there we go. He's done. He's done. Easy dubs. I'm going to get so much coins from this. And also, all my boosts are about to run out in like 20 seconds. Uh-oh. <laughs> dude, that is insane. So much rewards and coins. Dude, I got to go to that beach area real quick. Wait a second. Let me go to the beach area. My boosts are about to run out in seven seconds. I am not going to make it. Sadly, I didn't make it with uh, all my uh, boosts, but that's okay. We could go over here to the Kraken boss fight. This gives a lot, a, a lot of better rewards, and I'm sure I could beat this guy pretty easily with these pets. Come on, bro. Come on, Kraken. You want to fight? You want to fight, Kraken? Let's go. All right. I'm pretty sure people are telling me, like, this is the best uh, spot. Oh, he's already dead, bro. Bro's already dead. That's insane, dude. That was so fast, too. Victory, and let's see the rewards I just got okay not the best rewards or nothing crazy i mean i just got golden ticket that's not even being used because i'm full on them but pretty decent stuff for me defeating it that fast that's a w i mean with all this i got i could just buy all these upgrades now and i just got even more pet equip so might as well let's go equip that yes sir oh no not auto delete uh equip best oh wait that didn't even give me more pet slots oh whoops all right, well, I don't think I have all the upgrades in all the areas, so I might as well go do that since I have literally billions of coins right now. Oh, over here, it's already very expensive. Okay, so we could buy this over here for 3,000 gems. Might as well just buy 10,000 gems for 750 Robux. I'll go ahead and do that right there. There we go. And let's go over here. Bam, perfect. Okay, now I need 2 billion for this. Ah, oh, man, I don't have enough. Okay, I'll have to get more for that. And by the way, obviously, I did beat the Kraken boss extremely fast because it was level 1. I haven't grinded that much in this game. I guess I could sit over here and literally just grind a ton of coins and see how much you get up to. I'm already at 2.1 billion. Yo, W. All right, there we go. Now we could get that damage right there. And then the uh, look I really want, but that's 40 billion. And I don't want to hold this guy's pet for that long. So that's why I'll just trade this pet back to him right there. Select pet. I, I did select a pet. Why, why can't I accept, bro? Why is it not letting me? Oh, for some reason, I had to put another pet in there as well. Okay, there we go. That's so weird. Anyway, trade's processing. Hopefully, he doesn't think I was trying to scam him. And there we go. The trade's back. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed those secrets. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Like, subscribe, comment, and see you later, boys. Peace.